legend, the man needs no introduction. Randy Couture, how you doing? Very good, thanks. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts so far on the first half of the season? What um, have you seen from the, the light heavyweights and the heavyweights going into uh, the second part? Well, we've seen a lot of finishes in both of those divisions, which means it's going to be very, very challenging for these guys going into the second regular season fight to score enough points to get into the playoffs and make that top four. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how it unfolds. Um, obviously, this card in the third season or third show of this season is a stacked card um, with Magomed Kirimov, from one of our champions, having visa issues and not getting in to score points in this first fight. Ray Cooper, the third, not making weight, so he's down a point going into the second fight. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how those two former champions. <laughs> You see uh, how those two former champions, uh, you know, come back, you know, and, and see if they can score enough points to get into the playoffs as well. You mentioned that they missed weight. How important and crucial do you think that is with this style of tournament? You know, um, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's important wherever you're fighting. It's you're a professional athlete. It's one of the things you have to. It's one of the few things you can control, honestly. So, making weight is a big piece of the puzzle. Um, the truth, and we had Jenna Fabian obviously didn't make weight in the female division. What people don't recognize is it's a lot harder for, for female athletes to cut water weight in a weight class sport like this. They see the same thing in wrestling. Uh, their bodies tend to want to hold on to water a little harder than, than it, the males. Uh, and so they got to be a little more diligent sometimes, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame that that, uh, that situation happened with Jenna as well. But again, it's part of the sport. You got to be on top of it. Sometimes it's easy to get distracted or think that you can cut more than you can actually cut, and, and uh, you just never know. So, I want to ask you, um, you know, with, with your credentials, you know, as an athlete, what you've accomplished in this sport, how um, do you think you would fare in a tournament style like this? Well, I think if I was 25 again, I'd be all over this for sure. Uh, at 58, not a chance. <laughs> but uh, no, when they presented the format to me, I certainly had some questions and how it would be to turn around every six weeks. I think the most active I was was the last 18 months of my career. I fought five times in the last 18 months of my career. So uh, I shortened my camps to, to eight weeks, you know, six or eight weeks, uh, which is what these guys are all doing. I've been very impressed with these athletes and how they've embraced that challenge and facing that adversity of turning around and fighting again every six weeks. So it's, so, been, it's uh, been good. So let's say you are 25 and you are in this tournament. How do you like your chances with the current? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's all speculation. It's, it's like saying, who's the greatest of all time? Well, there's too many weight classes. There's too many variables. It'd be impossible to say. I, you know, I'm looking at it, this guy, Henan Ferreira this year, six foot eight. I fought a few of those guys that are that size, but very few of them move as well as that guy does or as athletic as that guy does. That's just the truth. So, Mr. Couture, I appreciate your time. I can't wait for the rest of the season to unfold, and uh, best of luck in, Thanks, uh, in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Appreciate it.